assalamu alaikum students i hope you will be fine in the previous lecture we have discussed pressure atmospheric pressure and pascal's law now we are going to discuss archimedes principle its applications principle of rotation its applications elasticity and hooke's law archimedes principle archimedes discovered the principle while stepping into a full bath he realized that the water that ran over equaled in volume the submerged part of his body through further experiments he deduced this principle archimedes was so excited with his discovery that he hopped out of the bath and rushed naked into the street yelling eureka eureka means i have found it now let's move to the statement of this principle it states that when an object is totally or partially immersed in a fluid an upthrust acts on it equal to the weight of the liquid it displaces fluid is a substance that continually deforms liquid gases and plasmas are fluid so archimedes principle is applicable on liquids as well as on gases you can also observe it by performing a simple activity look at the picture take a beaker pour some water or any other liquid now if you put a metallic ball inside the liquid some of the liquid will move to the other beaker now measure the weight of this displaced liquid it will be equal to the upthrust force which acts on the ball now how we can derive an upthrust force if we take a cylinder and immerse it in liquid then the depth of upper surface of the cylinder is h1 whereas depth of lower surface of cylinder is h2 height of cylinder is h which is equal to h2 minus h1 now if p1 is the pressure on the upper surface and p2 is the pressure at the lower surface then we can find out these pressures by using the relation which we have derived earlier in the topic pressure in liquids according to that relation p1 is equals to rho g h1 and p2 is equals to rho g h2 as forces f1 and f2 are acting due to pressure of liquid so f1 is equals to p1a and f2 is equals to p2a now put the values of p1 in this relation we will get the value of f1 as rho g a h1 and rho g a h2 as f1 and f2 are acting on the opposite faces of the cylinder therefore net force will be f is equals to f2 minus f1 which is equals to rho g a h2 minus h1 put the value of h2 minus h1 we will get rho g a h here a is the area and h is the height so multiply area with height we will get volume so this relation turns out to be f is equals to rho g v here v is the volume g is the gravitational acceleration and rho is the density thus rho g v is the weight of the liquid displaced we can also find out the density of an object by using archimedes principle if you know its weight in air as well as in liquid so take an object whose density is unknown now find out its weight in air by using spring balance after that immerse that object in liquid now again note down its weight with the help of spring balance you will notice that its weight will be decreased this is due to upthrust of the liquid it means that this upthrust force hold that object in liquid that's why it, its weight decreases if you look at the picture weight of the object in air is 40 newton but it will decrease to 32 newton when immersed in water if density of object is equals to d and density of liquid is represented by rho weight of the object in air is w1 then weight of the liquid displaced is w is equals to w1 minus w2 here w2 is the weight of the object in liquid so we will get a relation Uh, which is d is equals to w1 over w1 minus w2 multiplied by rho now let's move to our next slide which is about hydrometer hydrometer is an instrument which is used to find out density of any fluid it consists of a glass tube with a scale marked on its stem and a heavy weight is attached in the bottom it is partially immersed in a fluid the density of which is to be measured we have two types of uh, hydrometers acid meter and lactometers Acid meter is used to find concentration of acid in battery whereas lactometer is used to find density of milk. Now our next topic is principle of flotation. According to this principle a floating object displaces a fluid having weight equal to the weight of the object. Now take an example of a wooden block if it floats on the surface of water it means its weight is equal to the weight of the liquid which is displaced by that wooden block. Now there are some conditions for this floating object and the first condition is an object floats if its weight is equal to the buoyant force buoyant force means upthrust 
second condition is an object floats if buoyant force is greater than the weight now there is another condition for a sinking object which is an object sinks if its weight is greater than the upthrust why do ships float as long as the weight of the ship is less than the upthrust it floats but if it carry more passengers or goods then its weight becomes greater than the upthrust it will sink now we'll discuss another question related to this principle the question is how can a submarine float or submerge in water and the answer is a submarine can travel over as well as under water only when its weight is less than the upthrust under this condition it is similar to a ship it has a system of tanks when these tanks are filled with sea water its weight will become greater than the upthrust and it dives into water and remains under water until the tanks are emptied from sea water now we are going to discuss one example which is given in your book this is example 7.6 a bar 40 meter long and 8 meter broad whose sides are vertical floats partially loaded in water if 1 lakh 25000 newton of cargo is added how many meters will it sink area of bar is given which is 320 meter square additional load is also given which is 1 lakh 25000 newton increased upthrust force of water must be equal to the additional load hence f is equals to rho gv here we have used the archimedes principle uh, which states that this upthrust will be equal to uh, weight of the liquid which is displaced so f is equals to w now by comparing these two equations we will get rho gv is equals to w now put the values of rho g and w we will get the uh, value of volume is 12.5 meter cube now we have to find out the depths for finding depth we have used the formula h is equals to v by a here v is the volume and a is the area now put the values of volume and area in this relation we will get the depth and answer is 0.05 meter which is 4 cm the bar will sink 4 cm in water on adding 1 lakh 25000 newton cargo now let's move to our next topic which is elasticity elasticity the ability of an object or material to resume its normal shape after being stretched or compressed if you stretch a rubber band after removing the force it will come back to its original shape so it is an elastic object examples of elastic objects are spring stretch bow a balloon rubber band now we are going to discuss two terms that is stress and strain stress is force per unit area and its formula is f over a now for finding the unit for stress we will put the unit for force and area unit of force is newton and unit of area is meter square i after putting these units we will get the unit for stress which is newton per meter square when you apply force to any elastic object there will be some change in its dimensions so if we apply force or stress and it will change the length then the ratio of change in length to the original length is known as tensile strain its formula is delta l over l not and it has no unit hooke's law it states that the strain produced in a body by the stress applied to it is directly proportional to the stress within the elastic limit it means if you apply stress to any elastic object and due to this stress if its length changes then this stress is directly related with the displacement x now we will perform one experiment which will help you to understand hooke's law take a stand with scale attached to it now hang a spring from the stand we have different weights initially when we hang weight of 1 newton spring will stretch to 2 cm now remove that weight and attach weight of 2 newton now spring will stretch to 4 cm in this in this way when you increase the weight extension will also be increased and we will get a straight line which you can clearly see in the picture it shows that stress is directly related with the strain now if you look at the graph this red arrow represents elastic limit it is a limit within which a body recovers its original shape size and length after crossing this limit an object will permanently deformed since force is proportional to extension x so according to hooke's law f is directly related with the x where f is the applied force in newtons and x is the extension in meters if you remove the proportionality sign then we will get the relation that f is equals to kx where k is the spring constant
स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट के स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट में यर्स हाउ स्टिफ द स्प्रिंग इज द लार्जर द स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट द स्टिफर द स्प्रिंग यू मे बी एबल टू सी दिस बाय लुकिंग एट द ग्राफ्स बिलो वी हैव अ ग्राफ फॉर अ स्टिफ स्प्रिंग फॉर अ सॉफ्टर स्प्रिंग एंड इवन सॉफ्टर स्प्रिंग हेयर इन द ग्राफ एक्सटेंशन इज टेकन अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस एंड फोर्स इज टेकन अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस इफ यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट ग्राफ then the slope of this first first graph is greater than the slope of the other two graphs greater slope means greater value of k k is measured in units of newton per meter young's modulus the ratio of stress to tensile strain is called young's modulus mathematically young's modulus y is equals to stress over strain since stress is equals to force per unit area and tensile strain is equals to change in length over original length so y is equals to stress over tensile strain and its formula is f over a multiplied by l not over delta l and young's modulus y is represented by f l not over a delta l its unit is newton per meter square how we can solve problems problem 7.7 and the statement is a uniform block of board 20 by 7.5 by 7.5 cm cube and of mass 1000 g stands on a horizontal surface with its longest edge vertical find pressure exerted by the block on the surface and density of wood if you look at the picture then this wooden block uh, stands on a horizontal surface with its longest edge vertical and its uh, length of its longest side is 20 cm base is of 7.5 multiplied by 7.5 area of the base is 7.5 multiplied by 7.5 You can use the formula P is equals to F over A, and uh, F will be replaced by M G. So formula for finding pressure will be M G over A. For finding density, you will use the formula Rho is equals to mass per unit volume. Another problem is 7.8. A cube of glass of 5 cm side and ma a mass 306 grams has a cavity inside it. If the density of glass is 2.55 gram per cm cube, find the volume of the cavity. now we'll use the formula volume without cavity is l cube and volume with cavity will be uh, find out by using the formula mass per unit density volume of cavity can be find out by using and the formula volume without cavity minus volume with cavity now another problem from your exercise is 7.9 an object has weight 18 newton in air its weight is found to be 11.4 newton when immersed in water calculate its density can you guess the material of the object now here you can use the archimedes principle finding finding the density by using archimedes principle and the formula will be d is equals to w1 over w1 minus w2 multiplied by density now another problem from your exercise is 7.10 a solid block of wood of density 0.6 gram per cm cube weighs 3.06 newton in air determine the volume of the block and b part will be volume of block immersed when placed freely in a liquid of density 0.9 g per cm cube so for finding volume of block you will use the formula v is equals to mass by density and m is equals to w by g as we know that up thrust is equals to w which is equals to rho g v now another problem from your exercise is 7.12 a steel wire of cross sectional area 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 m square stretch through 2 mm by a force of 4000 newton find the young's modulus of the wire the length of the wire is 2 m so this question is related to young's modulus so you will use the formula that is y is equals to f l not over e delta l how we can attempt long question if you have given a question that state and explain a commedes principle then your first step will be the statement after writing the statement explain that principle with the help of mathematical steps draw the diagram and write down the result now next question is explain the working of hydraulic press if you have given this question then first of all you have to explain that what is hydraulic press after explaining you need to write down the working principle of hydraulic press then explanation mathematical steps and at the last you need to write down the final form now if you have given a question that state and explain hooke's law so your first step will be the statement after writing the statement you need to explain that statement with the help of mathematical steps after that you need to draw the graph explain that graph with the help of elastic limit and plasticity and elasticity terms 
multiple choice questions you need to encircle the correct options first question is in which of the following state molecules do not leave their position and the answer is solid state in solid state molecules are closely packed and they do not leave their positions second question is which of the following substances is the lightest one copper mercury aluminium and lead obviously aluminium is the lightest substance our next question is SI unit of pressure is Pascal which is equal to 10 raised to the power 4 Newton per meter square 1 Newton per meter square 10 raised to the power 2 Newton per meter square and 10 raised to the power 3 Newton per meter square if you know the formula for pressure its formula is force per unit area force is measured in Newton and area is measured in meter square so put the value of force and uh, area we will get the unit as 1 Newton per meter square our next question is what should be the approximate length of a glass tube to construct a water barometer we have studied in the topic that water barometer should have a length of 10.34 meter which is not given here so closest option is 11 meter next statement is according to Archimedes principle up thrust is equal to weight of the displaced liquid a option is the correct option next question is the density of a substance can be found by the help of Pascal's law Hooke's law Archimedes principle and principle of flotation so Archimedes principle is the one through which we can find out the density of any object next statement is according to Hooke's law stress over strain is equals to constant B option will, uh, is the correct, op uh, correct option next question is the following force extension graphs of a spring are drawn on the same scale answer the questions given below from 8 to 10 so first statement is which graph does not obey Hooke's law graph of Hooke's law is a straight line and has some slope but in option C slope of this graph is 0 so it does not obey Hooke's law so answer of part C is C next statement is which graph gives the smallest value of spring constant the graph which represents smallest force will have smallest value of k because force is directly related with the k or force by x is directly related with k is equal to k so d option will be the correct option in d uh, option if you look at the graph this uh, force is the smallest force so its slope will also be small and it represents smallest value of k next question is which graph gives the largest value of spring constant and the answer is a in this graph if you look at the graph then force has larger value so it has more slope or larger slope if slope is larger then k also have the largest value so this is how we can solve these MCQs. Thank you.